Hey there guys, this is Ignite the Fire and welcome back to my second bonus video for Sky and Swap Force for Vincent OE. So in this bonus video, we're going to go on ahead and complete uh, the Sheepwreck Islands Adventure Pack level to 100%. So without further ado, let's get right into it, shall we? And to do so, we uh, first must summon in the Adventure Pack piece itself. Okay, so as for um, what we unlock from this adventure pack, we unlock a brand new story level um, entitled Fish You Break Islands, which we're going to get into in right a second here. And then the arenas we also have unlocked um, uh, come in the form of the Vortex Banquet, the Cyclops Makeover, the Sheep Mage Rage, and Chunky Chompies. Try and say all of them five times faster. But without further ado, let's get right into Sheep Break Islands already. Sheep dumb. That actually sounds pretty cool. We should just let that uh, occur and see what it seems uh, seems like um, at the end of the invasion. You know, see how things work out and stuff. Who knows? Maybe we can uh, form a rebel alliance and create a much better follow-up storyline. But note, we have to stop the invasion here and now. Just like imagine if Star Wars in the prequel trilogy, um, like the Jedi, actually won. And the um, Emperor was defeated in the prequel trilogy, which means that the original tr trilogy would technically never exist in a storyline point of view. So imagine if that was to happen. That's pretty much what could be happening right here. We could get a much better follow-up story, but no. The prequel story just has to come through and ruin it. <laughs> but um, either way, uh, if you open up these clamshells right here, then what happens is that you get a nice little uh, reward from it. Once uh, this cutscene wants to finish uh, playing out at us. And that comes in the form of a bunch of gold, but either way, uh, the tech element is currently strong on the zone, so that's definitely convenient to save least, especially considering we're playing as wind-up right now. Who's actually the character who you uh, receive uh, when you buy this adventure pack right here, who is a very awesome one. I mean, like, look at this guy, overpowered as hell. Nice, there's all that sorted, so let's uh, be collecting more gold from the uh, gold circle right there, I call it. But either way, if we push this uh, block into position, then we will have access uh, to the next area of the level. So uh, let's go ahead and do that successfully, shall we? But before we head on over there, we have a treasure chest um, located over here to uh, be helping ourselves to first and foremost. So let's be collecting them uh, sweet, sweet gems right there. And that's our first of three treasure chests it was seen. We're going to destroy that crate because it annoyed me. It got my way. So, you know, why not destroy it and all? So what this guy can do is he can launch springs which launch people in the air and then from there he can punch them and then he can also do a wind up ability which brings uh, enemies in closer and it also allows him to attack faster and stronger. And so overall it makes for a very unique scanner with a very unique and fun moveset. Like overall this guy is so much fun I highly recommend this dude. If you haven't bought him already go out and buy him. He will be a blast I can assure you. But either way uh, here is the uh, final story scroll of the game that's why we got a 3 star uh, achievement. Uh, for the game, and without further ado, let's get this into it, shall we? That would be awesome, cotton, co uh, cotton candy wool. <laughs> Do 
Yeah, what kind of sheep do the Empire's doom? Seriously, what? I mean, like, sheep are the most harmless thing ever. Maybe that's why I'm making him mad. You see, you mad, bro? You mad? Yeah, he's he's pretty mad. Don't don't mess with him when he's mad. Okay, let's be fast. See if we can get that key before he inhales it. Oh, nice. We got it in the nick of time as well. So let's be uh, opening up this uh, triple locked gate right here. Okay, let's be uh, launching these guys up and taking these guys out without further ado. Nice. Okay, let's charge it up, let's charge it up, BAM! Nice uh, punch right there, wind up. But either way, right here we have a rocket stone, so without further ado, let's get into our rocket combination of the video, which is going to be none other than Rubble Zone. A very interesting combination, to say the least. Whether I've uh, done this combination re uh, already or not, uh, I cannot recall, but um, hopefully we haven't done it yet. But as I said previously in a previous episode, if I have done it uh, already, then that's just too bad, but if I haven't, then that's great. Ow, that might hurt. Next time, let's not be so impatient. Right when I say that as well. Right when I say that, me, listen to my own advice, please. <laughs> I mean, like, what's the point in giving advice if I don't even listen to it myself, right? Okay, there we go, that worked. I was originally going to take the left, but I remembered, hey, let's not be impatient. And so, because it wasn't, um, I took less damage there, which puts me at an advantage in the zone right here. So what do you know? Listen to my own advice actually worked out for once. Because normally I give out terrible advice, but being patient, that was my first piece of, uh, first good piece of advice for the whole let's play, I'd even go as far to say. Because we all know by now that I'm not the greatest giving out advice. Well, who knows, maybe I am, maybe I just doubt myself too much. Because that's another piece of advice I have for you guys. Don't doubt yourselves. Like, you're only as bad as you make yourself out to seem. Oh, darn, that might hurt. Like me, I make myself out to be very, very bad, and it turns out I am bad. <laughs> but hey, none of that matters, because uh, what does matter is that we did manage to complete the zone successfully, and so, you know, you got to stick with the positives and all, and the positive part of this here uh, section is that I did, in fact, complete the zone successfully, even if it was a bit rough in the process. But as for our reward, we got a Wing Sapphire, which is uh, one uh, of two Wing Sapphires you can find throughout the level. And I do like the fact that the Adventure Packs give you two Wing Sapphires. It makes it more uh, satisfying when you get around to finally purchasing them because you get more rewards from it. Okay, let's uh, head into this uh, Vortex right here and uh, be pushing some more crates without further ado. Yeah, I love how this level is designed with how well the uh, vortexes are implemented and stuff. Not to mention the platform is top notch as well. Like some really fun platform and challenges from this one. Okay, let's be grabbing that uh, golden sheep right there. That's uh, one of three. And for golden sheep, uh, they are literally made of gold because they give you 100... Um, gold and normally the collectibles of the level don't usually give you that much they usually give you around 57 i think it is but here no nope, they went full out and gave you 100 how generous <laughs> give up, yeah giving up isn't in our dna so sorry about that mr sheep mage but we're gonna keep on going <laughs> yeah you you keep dreaming mate you keep dreaming nothing wrong with dreaming and all oh boy that hurt <laughs> And it was also cheap at the same time. I think you'll find the cheapest attacks was to hurt the most. Okay, that was annoying. Like, why didn't I move up way there? I should have moved out of the way, but you know, um, whatever. I'm not dead, so that's the important thing. Okay, let's take out this dude right here. Boom, you done, son. And there's that guy as well, because we pushed him off the edge like an absolute self spouse. Because we are self-spells, so why not act like a self-spells? Because we are self-spells, pretty much. But either way, we need an undead uh, character for this uh, zone, so we're going to go on ahead and roll with a Twin Blade Chop Chop right here. A character which I cannot even remember if I've uh, played with him Let's Play yet or not. I probably have somewhere down the line, but you know, why not play him again? He's a pretty good, cool character, to say the least. Oh yeah, you tell him, Chop Chop. You tell absolutely no one, because no one's about, that you cannot be stopped. Because no one's listening right now, clearly, because, like, the only people who know you just said that is me and you, buddy, and the people watching, because, um, like I said, nobody, uh, no enemies are actually around for, uh, in order to hear that, so such a shame, what a waste of words, kind of like uh, every single word that comes out of my mouth, really. 
I don't know why I jump everywhere, it just ma it makes me feel faster even though it has absolutely no effect whatsoever. Either way, is there a combat situation right here? Yes, there is a combat situation right here, that's nice. Yeah, take this. Okay, let's uh, bring in our twin blading leaners. Ow, that hurt. One thing I want to know is how come uh, the element of the area isn't undead right now? It should be, but it ain't. Ow. Nice, we got him. And we also got some pie in the process, so I will happily uh, eat that. Especially since, one, pie is delicious, and two, it, it heals us up. So, you know, why would we deny it? Okay, nice. So, do we have more combat? We do indeed have more combat, so let's uh, induce ourselves with that, shall we? Nice, okay. Nice, take that, uh, stupid Cyclops thing, whatever you are. And, um, as a reward for completing the area, we have heard, earned none of us than a hat, which there is actually three of these, uh, hats to be collecting throughout the level. So hopefully we can be successful in finding, uh, not two of them, but all three of them. And this hat actually gives us plus 7% critical hit and, um, plus 30 maximum health, which makes it actually a very, very useful hat. But hey, we're gonna stick with our propeller hat right here, because it actually suits Chop Chop quite a lot. Without further ado, let's continue, and watch out for mines, guys, because the mines, they kind of hurt. Oh, like, like that, you see. That's a perfect example of what not to do in that next section. But either way, I believe right here is where we're introduced to the brand new enemy for the Vortex Gear Golem. These guys are a pain in Nightmare Mode, but luckily we're not playing a Nightmare Mode, so hopefully we can take them out a whole bunch uh, easier. Yeah, first, uh, you want to focus on taking out the Vortex uh, Gear Golem first thing. Like, take it out as fast as possible, that's my recommendation for you guys. Ow, or else it'll do that. Okay, we're going to swap out before we die. That would definitely be a wise decision on my behalf. So we're going to go back for wind-up right here because uh, he can stay from a distance and shoot his, uh, this guy from afar. And not to mention his speed will definitely uh, give us a huge advantage here because these enemies are slow but they hurt a lot. But because we're fast, we can outmaneuver him quite easily, as you can see right now. Okay, nice. We got a nice little chip right there and that can be put into the door right there, as you can see. At least that's what's implied because uh, you can see like a little symbol on the door and it just uh, appears that this like here logo thing fits perfectly into that symbol on the door. Well then shut up with you blabbering on then already. But either way let's uh, enter into this here area and uh, this area is one of the uh, many temples uh, scattered throughout the level right here. And by many, I mean two, I believe. But I could, of course, recall incorrectly uh, with that information right now. But either way, that's our first um, crate that we have to worry about. We ha but we have to worry about a second one uh, first and foremost. Because um, if we do this correctly, then we earn our second wing sapphire of the level. So, of course, we want to do it correctly. Because I would hate to miss up on opportunity. And here it is. Uh, if you guys repeat the method I did right there, you guys will definitely earn yourselves this uh, second wing sapphire. Not to mention you'll, you'll also earn a three star achievement because that means um, you will have unlocked every um, wing sapphire, all 20 of them, just like I have. Okay, somehow the mine hurt me, even though I was in the vortex, that was pretty cheap, but whatever at this point, right? I mean, like, we're used to cheap damage at this point, so, you know, we can either uh, be bitter about it, or we can um, choose to uh, just take the damage like a man, and we're going to just take the damage like a man. And here's the bonus mission map of the level, it would seem, so uh, I wonder what it's called. It is called none other than Thief on the Run, another very awesome bonus mission map, which you guys will have a blast with, so I definitely highly recommend you making sure to unlock that bonus uh, mission map right now. Not only uh, will you unlock a nice awesome uh, bonus mission uh, to go alongside with your other post-game content, but you will also um, complete this level to 100%, so you know, it's kind of like a double win-win situation. Ow. Okay, here comes the uh, giant's chest. So, what giant are we going to go for, you guys? We won't win. Well, um, we have been this giant before, but we haven't been this version of a giant before. So, we're going to go with legendary bouncer, aka for better looking uh, bouncer. Because I tell you what, this guy looks awesome right now. I mean, like, look at that. So beautiful. 
So uh, we grab the treasure chest right here. So let's get a head and so without further ado, let's continue with the level right here. Yeah, sorry for the uh, quick pause right now. I was just uh, talking to my dad uh, very, very quickly. But hey, I have a power of editing, so you know I can edit it out for you guys. So you guys don't need to listen to the tyranny of my conversation right now. Because trust me, it's the most boring thing ever. Oh darn, that sucks. Okay, let's enter into this here vortex, and we did that successfully, so that's awesome to say the least. Okay, we've got some enemies right here, so let's be taking them out. Take that, son. Nice. There's all them guys all sorted out. Nice, this guy's eye lasers are pretty awesome, if you ask me. Oh, ow, that hurt quite a bit. But hey, we're a giant, we can take the damage like an absolute soul spouse, because we are soul spouse, so why not act like a soul spouse, like I previously mentioned? Because if you're a soul spouse, you got to act like a soul spouse, brah. So let's be heading into this vortex. Now, you could take that vortex right there to carry on with the level, but we don't want to do that just yet, because instead, if we head to this general uh, direction over here, we earn ourselves the second treasure chest of the level. So nice, now that's opened, we have a two of three treasure chests, which is awesome to say the least. And we even got a three star achievement known as a jackpot. And that's for collecting a certain amount of uh, treasure chests for the main story, I believe. But either way, Bouncer ain't doing too hot right now, so we're actually going to swap out for a uh, different Skylander altogether. And as for which Skylander we're going to go for, we're going to go for an overpowered beast known as Royal Double Trouble. Because I tell you what, this guy's stupid overpowered, especially uh, when he's fully upgraded. Nice. Okay, take my magic bomb, you fools. Okay, for some reason my magic bomb is invisible, but that just makes it even more cool. Oh, ow, that hurt. Ow, that also hurt. Please don't kill me, mister, I'm just uh, trying to defeat you, there's nothing wrong with that. What happened to my pie? I just got a pie a minute ago, and now it's vanished. Uncool game, uncool. But hey, who cared about that piece of pie? We got a piece of pie over here, and this piece of pie looks so much more delicious than what the last piece did. Oh, ow, I walked right into that there, and that was my mistake. Oh, that was close. Okay, let's enlarge on that guy right there. He'll, that'll definitely help us out with this uh, next sector right here. Yeah, this guy, when you uh, mix his uh, split beam with the uh, Devil's Path, it makes for such a great combo. Oh, and we leveled up. How um, convenient. Okay, so let's be heading over to this uh, sneak zone right here. And as for the sneak uh, combination we're going to go for, we're going to go for none other than Magna Bomb. Or should I even say Nitro Magna Bomb? You know, got to be specific in this uh, day and age, you know? So let's get going, without further ado. Another sneak zone, like I said before, I love these ones, so I can't wait to be uh, doing another one. Oh yeah, this one's really fun, trust me on that. Sorry if you guys can hear my button clicking, but hey, at least uh, when you hear my button clicking, it kind of like makes you guys feel like you're more a part of the action, so I suppose that's kind of cool about it. But I'm going to assume that for the most part it's annoying. Yeah, we're not going to bother with that wind jump right there because this guy's maxed out on gold anyway, so it'll be kind of like a waste of time going through to get that one. A waste of time which I cannot be bothered to um, be a part of, pretty much. So we're just going to focus primarily on uh, completing the zone right here because, like I said, this is, that's all I care about uh, in this part, uh, in this Let's Play. But don't worry, when I come around to redoing uh, this Let's Play, when I get a capture card at some point, I will make sure to... Um, Spend more time and effort in, in these zones, uh, and by that I mean actually collecting them uh, wing gems right now. But either way, I love the perspective this offers. Okay, we're quickly going to go into um, invince uh, in visibility mode, so then we're, then we're not spotted by that. Okay, wait for this uh, laser to finish. Okay, faster, 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 faster. Woo, that was close right there. Right on the edge of my seat, quite literally, in fact, because uh, I need to be on the edge of my seat in order for my phone to pick up my audio. Okay, it's about time. That took really long to um, complete for some reason. But either way, we've completed the zone successfully, so that's awesome to say the least. I have won. I have won. I have won. 
If you guys didn't get what I was referencing, I was referencing Cars 3 when McQueen is just like, I have crashed. I have crashed. I have crashed. Stuff like that, you know, I can't wait for that to become a meme. Like, trust me, if no one makes a meme out of it, I will make a meme out of it. But either way, we got Avatar's hat, uh, cap right here gives us plus 30 maximum health, so of course we're going to wear it. Not to mention it's going to look awesome on us. I mean, it's technically just a glorified mustache, so you know, why would we not want to wear that, pretty much? Okay, we've got plenty of uh, blocks to be pushing, it would seem. But either way, uh, one thing we want to do first and foremost is actually push this into the position it wants to be in. Because the amount of times where I've gotten to the end of this puzzle here and I forgot to push that forward is phenomenal. So, like, now when I go back to it, I just remember to do that first thing. So, you know, that's the good thing about making the mistake so many times, I suppose. And another time uh, I've made several uh, mistakes is I forgot to uh, collect this uh, golden sheep several times. But luckily, because I made the mistake so many times, I um, remember to go back through it uh, every time I come back through it now. But hey, we have a loading screen to look forward to. How, how exciting, not really. Again, I'm sarcastic when it comes to um, commentating over these uh, loading screens, it would seem like. Very common theme of this Let's Play. Pretty much. <laughs> Man, why do I have to ruin every sentence I say by saying either pretty much or I like, you know, it's kind of a stupid thing to say at the end of a sentence, pretty much. But either way, let's get heading over into this uh, general direction right here. Ooh, Skyness VF, I'm in a stronger zone, that's a nice change. But unfortunately, I don't have any Earth characters with me to even utilise anyway. Okay, we're just going to push this guy off the edge here because he's annoying me. Like that. Nice, there's that guy all sorted. But either way, we're not going to bother swapping to the F element because we have a dual gate coming up anyway. Spoilers. <laughs> Even though a dual gate coming up isn't really a spoiler, come to think of it. But I bet you yeah, people are still annoyed who haven't actually played the level yet. But come on, it's Swap Force. I'm pretty sure anybody watching this has uh, at least like seen a let's play of the game at the very least. But either way, we need a character that's both fire and undead. And what better combination um, can we utilize right now than... Uh, Blast shift right here. Or should I say dark blast shift? Like I said before, we got to be specific on what we say in this day and age. So let's get right into it, shall we? He's going good. Actually, I shouldn't say that because I'll end up jinxed. And I do not like being jinxed, put it like that. Okay, let's uh, proceed through this area. Hopefully we can be successful. Yeah, this is a really, really fun area. This is one of the better jewel gate areas because um, this one actually has thought and effort put into it unlike most of the other ones. Well, not to mention there's actually like undead themes to it, not just fire themes, so that's good to see. But one thing I do want to know is that how come half of the like elemental areas aren't uh, loading in? Like, this area should be dedicated to the undead, but for some reason it's uh, not popping up as this area being stronger for the undead element. So, you know, this is very strange. Kind of like how in the actual undead element itself, which was dedicated to just the undead element, for some reason, you know, the fact that undead was stronger of the zone never pops up. So this game just uh, seems like it wants to be weird today, but hey, I'm just going to let it because I don't want to go against it. Because when I go against stuff like that, I kind of end up screwed. But either way, we have earned for Creepy Helm, and of course we're going to wear it. It looks so awesome on Blast Zone. Or should I say Blast Shift. Okay, let's head into this uh, general uh, area over here. Now, uh, you can actually head down to this area, but, it, but there isn't actually anything located over there, so I'm not going to bother um, exploring that area. Actually, I do remember one thing we did miss, so I better go back and uh, make sure I collect that. Because, you know, it's kind of useless to do a 100% walkthrough of levels if I don't actually 100% it. So, yeah, luckily I remembered about this uh, little uh, collectible before we actually uh, finish, uh, before we actually left the area here. So, uh, you know, it could have been worse. Could have completely forgot about this area altogether and completely left it and uh, would have forgot the, um, completely forgot about this collectible in the process. But either way, if you head into this area over here, you can earn yourselves a treasure chest. So, yeah, definitely a good thing I recalled that this was actually located here. And that's our third and final treasure chest, it would seem like. So now let's head back to the area we was in before, so then we can uh, continue with the level. Without further ado, I should even add. 
Because, you know, why would I not want to add those words right now? Make my sentence make more sense. Even though it really, really doesn't. <laughs> but hey, you know, it's whatever at this point. I basically just say whatever and just hope that it, it goes. Good. Okay, watch out for this dude right here. Teleport. That's my uh, advice for you guys. If you're going to use this combination, remember your teleport uh, attack button. But hey, that actually works out really well for us. We didn't, didn't take too much damage and we took up the enemies with ease. So that's uh, great to save the very least. We've weighed us gold over here, so we're going to definitely uh, make sure to collect that. Because why, uh, why would we not collect that, right? Okay, and over here there's something even more valuable than gold. And it's uh, in the form of a golden sheep, I believe. I believe correctly by saying that. So that's our third and final golden sheep. And I fell off the level. But luckily enough, uh, that wasn't too fatal for us. So we can continue the level um, as we could before. Okay, we have some... Uh, dudes right here to take care of, so let's go ahead and uh, take care of them. Nice. Okay, there's a pile gobbled up. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's something in this area over here. I was indeed correct by that, so that's good to say the least. Let's be opening this uh, right up over here, and that's our first legendary treasure. Huh. Can't help but shake the feeling that I missed one, but that's because the final three uh, legendary treasures are very close to each other. And we get plus 10 um, elemental strength bonus right there, which is a useful one um, also. Oh darn, we missed that completely right now. But hey, there's just gold up there, so uh, all you guys want to do is jump into the vortex, and then you uh, get to go to the area at the top where you can earn a little gold. But um, I can't be able to go back to get to that area, and like I said, gold is uh, such a little reward for me at this point. I'd rather just get on with the game in all fairness, because there's better things I can do in the game than uh, searching for gold. Even though searching for gold is one of the fun parts of the game, but not the funnest, and that's my point that I'm trying to make right here. And hopefully I make, made sense while making it, for once. Because, you know, if I was to make sense for once, that would be a uh, step in the right direction. Because you guys know me by now, I make very little sense and I just stick with it. Okay, that was close. That was risky, but hey, no risk, no reward and all that. And uh, because we did take a big risk right there, we got highly rewarded for it. And by that, I mean uh, making the video more efficient and more fun for you guys to watch. And also more frantic as well, don't forget that part. Because I bet you guys love your frantic videos. I love frantic videos as well. Okay, there we go. That's six of nine. So we got three more to collect. Hopefully I can do that without falling off. But I'm going to shut up before I end up drinks myself. Because as I said, um, I drink myself way too often. <laughs> just by simply complimenting myself. So, you know. Best way to stop myself from getting jinx. Stop, what, uh, stop doing what makes me drink in the first place. Okay, where's that last... Uh... Oh, found it. Okay, we're just going to take the hits like a boss and just uh, go ahead and grab that last magic unit right there. So we might have taken a few hits right there, but um, it doesn't matter how uh, it doesn't matter how hard you can hit. It matters how hard you can take the hit. We can take some pretty hard hits. That definitely makes us a very uh, successful Skyliner right here. And not only that, but it also makes us a very successful player. And by us, I mean me. Me, me, me. And that's a quote from Taekwon Crow himself. Love that dude, got to admit. But either way, here's a legendary treasure known as the Urban Art. How interesting. Not really. But either way, let's be heading into this uh, general direction over here, and then we can collect this here token that will open up the gate to the final temple of the uh, level over here. So yeah, that's the area we are in fact aiming for, so let's uh, try and make sure that we can uh, make it to that area successfully. Okay, I got a little cheat that you guys can do. So instead of like um, pushing the platform all the way down, what you can do is you can um, push that forward, and then you can um... actually this is a much faster method of uh, pushing those blocks right now. So yeah, I highly recommend you using that method right there. It's a much faster way of going about things. But either way, we need an air element scanner for this gate, so we're gonna go with Scratch. Give this awesome character a bit more. Uh bit more of a showcase, why not? Adventuring time, I think that's for opening a certain amount of elemental gates. Okay, I keep on pressing wrong attack, I want to do the pounce attack, not the uh, spinning attack. 
speedway this uh, area revolves all around platforming so hopefully I can be successful on that platforming right there. Okay, we're gonna make uh, we're gonna take a good risk right here. And what do you know that risk paid off? Yeah, I love making these videos as efficient as possible. By uh, making that risk and pulling it off uh, successfully, we uh, in did indeed make the video more success successful, uh, more efficient even, I should say. And who knows, maybe even more successful down the line because of it, so you know, no complaints here. But I do have complaints about that. <laughs> that was too impatient right there. Oh, darn, I seriously thought that timing would have made it there, but nope, I was very, very wrong. But fortunately, you aren't punishing this game for falling off. It's not like the 3DS where you lose health for falling off, so you know, that's uh, that's fine for me falling off. I don't mind too much because I'm not punished by it. There we go. Yeah, you have uh, you basically get um, punished in 3DS for falling off because, uh, and uh, in the form of losing health because the 3DS is revolving around platforming. And so, you know, if, if, if in a platforming game you don't get punished for actually being a bad platformer, then, you know, it's kind of not a great platforming game in all fairness. So yeah, it's fair that 3DS definitely uh, takes away your health. Oh yeah, that's nice. By collecting gold there, we uh, healed uh, Thingy up a little bit. Scratch. Yeah, I do like the attack, uh, the ability where Scratch heals up when you collect gold. It's very, very useful. And definitely makes a good character much more better. Like, if it weren't for that ability, I'd say she's a really bad Skyliner. But because she does have that ability, I'd say she's alright. Oh man, barely made that one right there, but hey, um, what matters is that we did make it, and so we can continue with the level, um, nice and easily here. Okay, so, uh, this right here is our, uh, reward, and it takes the form of a legendary treasure, in fact, it's the last legendary treasure of this here level, and the last uh, collectible level as well, I believe. Hopefully I recorded her correctly and uh, with that information right now. But either way now, let's uh, continue uh, with the uh, course at hand, shall we? Okay, so oh, we got to watch out for this uh, giant sheep right here. Push that down in the vortex. Oh boy, that, 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 I was about to say that was close, but nope, that wasn't close, that was a complete and utter failure. Hey, sorry about that cut right there, guys, um, I just had dinner, and I tell you what, it was spaghetti bolognese, and spaghetti bolognese is my favourite food ever, so you guys can probably guess it was delicious. But either way, I just went and made the same mistake twice, what an idiot. That's probably what you guys are thinking of me right now, I mean, like, I'm thinking of myself as that, so of course that's what you guys are thinking of me as. But either way, we have, a, like, secrets right here. I'm pretty sure in all the other versions of the game, there's a waterfall right there. But I suppose that, um, it, they probably did add it in, but it probably didn't look that great in this version. So they probably decided to take it out for that reason. Because, you know, the Wii cannot look as good in terms of graphics as uh, the other consoles. Because, you know, it's Wii at the end of the day. It's a generation behind, like I uh, mentioned before in previous episodes and such. Boom. Yeah, this is actually going quite well, actually. Normally, I don't play this well with a uh, scratch. Ow, you hurt me. Unacceptable. You hurt me again. Let's heal up a bit and then swap our Skylander because, like, dying is literally no good. <laughs> so, what we're going to do is we're going to swap out for Mr. Bumbleblast. Yeah, this guy's sick. In fact, he's not even sick. He's sickles. Hood sickles. Get away from me, loser. Nice, we got him. One awesome thing about this guy is that he has so much health at level 20. Like, look at this. He has 1,080 health, and he doesn't even have, like, a health hat on. Or at least, I don't think he does. He might do, actually. But still, there's a whole bunch of health, nonetheless. And on top of that, he's not too hard to, uh, to, to hit, because mostly, uh, for the most part, because he's a ranged character, he's taken out his enemies before they even get close to him. 
So, you know, it's not like he loses health very quickly. So, yeah, definitely uh, one of the better characters of the game, of this dude. As I've mentioned several times, I'm sure. Oh man. That guy was already dead. Kind of wasted a queen attack on him. Nice. Okay, now we've got to wait for another guy right here, and then we can uh, launch our queen bee on him. Because who doesn't like queen bees, right? Okay, let's uh, be launching this uh, here mine at him, or should I, uh, should I even say dynamite? Oh, darn, I missed. <laughs> Bit silly in my behalf right now. Oh, good, I didn't miss that time. Okay, can I hit him from here? I can, kind of. Okay, let's uh, take him out. Just die already, dude. Take that. Okay, maybe not. He just He's not taking that. I said take that already. Okay, I can't wait to take out some more dudes right here. You're going down. I'm yelling, Timber, you better move. Or you won't forget. Yeah, I'm probably just mixing up songs again. But hey, that's just because I'm like quoting from a Skyrim's rap uh, compilation that I uh, watched. Well, it wasn't even a rap compilation. It was just basically some uh, popular uh, songs with Skyrim's like animations on it. I think I told you guys about this before. But either way, it's from Black Rhino Gamer, and that guy like he's an awesome Skyrim YouTuber. I'm telling you, one of the best ones out there. His animations are so great. Okay, nice one. In fact, no, I don't think it's Black Rhino uh, Gamer, I think it's Black Rhino Ranger, actually. I think he changed his name recently, or something like that. I don't know, can't remember, but the point is, he's an awesome YouTuber, and I'm pretty sure you guys have already watched his animation already, because it's got millions of views, I'm pretty sure. Or at least, if it hasn't, that's what it deserves. Okay, let's uh, take this guy out right now. Okay, that's one really weird yawn, and man, that hurt. I hate the way how it puts him in the middle of a minefield, so then you take damage anyway. So you've worked so hard to avoid the damage, and then you go and take damage anyway, because of this game's stupid programming. But hey, the only reason why we rushed through that mine zone there and actually hit some of the mines was so that then we could make a faster path for ourselves, make the video more efficient and all that. Okay, i got to be careful here, or else this guy will hurt, and I don't think I've lost life right yet. Oh, damn, that was stupid. I could not see that Force X come in. Okay, that, that was actually legit pathetic. I'm really wound up right now. Okay, so who are we going to go with instead? That is the question. And a question I plan on answering very soon in the form of Stealth Elf. I'm surprised. She's actually a starter pack character for this game. And yeah, I haven't even used her in this game. And that's uh, Ninja Stealth Elf right here. So let's uh, get slicing and dicing. You see, she took him out of ease, mate. Oh, and now we got more of these guys to take out. Okay. Awesome uh, part about Stealth Off right here. Her wow power is awesome. I mean, like, look at that tiger right there. It's crazy, pretty much. You ain't hit me that easy, son. I mean, I'm Stealth Off. I'm all about that acrobatic stuff, ow. Right when I say that. That is why you don't get cocky, people. Oh, boy. Watch out for attacks and stuff. Nice. Nice. Again. I'm too good at this. Ow. Nice. That, that turned out much better for me. That did not turn out good for me, however. Bad decision. Oh, no. That actually turned out to be a good decision in the end. Oh, how did that hit me? I was off the ground. That should not have hit me. Yeah, this game uh, can get kind of a bit frustrating at times. Trust me, don't get me started, because I can go on a rant on how annoying things can get sometimes. But as for the character we're going to uh, replace stuff off with, we're going to go for none other than one of my faves, Smolder Dash, or to be specific, like or Smolder Dash. Now, I'm sorry that I'm taking a while to submit any in these guys. It's just because like I'm trying to look through my Skylanders and look for ones I want, but it's actually hard for me to choose. I have so many at this point, it's so difficult to choose which one I want to go with. Like, this time I was debating, do 
do I want to go with smaller dash or do I want to go with pop fizz? But I decided to go with the small dash in the end. Whoa, ow. That was cheap. Stop being cheap with me, game. Ow, that was also cheap. That, that, okay, I've had enough of the same word cheap now. It's just kind of getting cheap. <laughs> Jokes. So great. Not really. Well, well they are great. But not off their mind. <laughs> Okay guys, so it would seem that we have a level at 100%, the only thing we missed was no Skarnas defeated, which is a huge shame, so I do want to take this moment uh, just to be, just to be silent, so we can honour our fallen comrades Ninja Steel Felp and Mobile Blast, so just a moment silent for each of them. Okay, that's enough of the silence already. Oh man, we got a bunch of stars from that. So it looks like we're going to be finishing this let's play with a Portal Master Rank 25, which is definitely a good um, milestone to be at. So for all that's said and done, I am going to press the A button already, and we're going to head on into a loading screen. How exciting. So that if there is uh, the end of the Let's Play, because that's the end of the final uh, bonus episode of the Let's Play. So without further ado, um, like I said, I'll see you in the next Let's Play, guys, and uh, until then, peace.